Hi, this is Jim Goodman. I'd like to welcome you to Ten Wheel Adventures. Now this week, Belen and I traveled from Ajo, Arizona to Lake Pleasant Regional Park, which is just north of Phoenix. It was about two hours up Highway 85 to where we joined I-10 just west of Phoenix. We took the loop around the outside and ended up north of Phoenix at Lake Pleasant Regional Park. We're really fortunate the desert is in full bloom right now and it was really amazingly beautiful. Another benefit of arriving in spring and the rainy season is that the lake level is really high. Now this lake is the primary reservoir for the Phoenix and Tucson water system so the lake level can drop dramatically as the summer progresses. Now we were fortunate to get into the Roadrunner campground. It's a very nice campground. We didn't get waterfront but we had a really great view. I took the drone out to give you some idea of what this size of the lake and the shoreline looks. It's surrounded by mountains entirely and it is a pretty large lake. It has a pretty extensive trail system around the area. Uh, you can see it one actually travels the shoreline here down from some of the campgrounds. Uh, we're, our campground is directly ahead in the uh, loop that's uh, kind of the middle of the screen there. In fact, there's our fifth wheel right now. And in a moment you'll see me sitting out in front. Our camping area provided water and electricity, but there was no sewer, so we had to be careful about our water usage. We wanted to make our tanks last a full week, and we were able to do that. Now, I try to get Sasha out for a good long walk every day, and there are a lot of trails to do that on. Some are close by the lake, others up into the hills, and some down in the desert valleys, but all really beautiful. Now, this boulder has petroglyphs dated over a thousand years old. Very interesting. There's lots of islands on the lake, and arroyas, very unusual peaks around it. And with the desert in bloom, the colors were just amazing, primarily yellow and green, but it still was quite breathtaking. Now the weather was really nice, so hiking was a pleasure. Uh, we had a couple days where it was in the low 90s, but very dry, uh, non-human. Uh, other days were in the 80s, so it's really nice to get the bikes out. Uh, we rode all over the park because they have a well-defined road system within the park and quite large. So we got to travel, and at 25 miles an hour we cover some ground. Really enjoyed it here though. We also got the kayaks out once, really had a blast with that. The day was perfect, 90 degrees, the water's quite chilly, but still very refreshing. Belinda's demonstrating her kayaking skills here. We both had a blast and love these inflatable kayaks. Just make it so convenient for us. The lake's a little big, so we had to watch the wind. Uh, you could get pushed out pretty easily. I got the drone out, I saw a canyon that I really wanted to fly through. You can actually see me up on the upper right, uh, right up there. And the bottom was filled with water. I really enjoyed myself uh, with the drone in this little canyon area. The bottom was full of water from all the rains they've had recently. And this is on the south side of the park, so if you look off into the distance, 
You can't really see Phoenix, but it's out there about 30 miles or so. I also drove over to the north side. It's about six miles in the opposite direction. And I uh, got a more mountainous view that I'll provide you with here. I'm going to say goodbye early, although the, the video's not over. If you'll stay tuned, I've got a little surprise for you at the end. It was a serenade that we got to hear every night. So until next time, safe travels.